Hi guys, I'm Ivy Eisenberg. I'm Ryan Glasgow. This is The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network. And you sounded like data from Star Trek. Right? Or is it data? Data, data. I don't know. I don't even Potato, care. tomato. So William Dean O'Neill yes. is going to be with us today. Well, not with us, with us, but... Uh, in, in demo reel spirit. Yeah. And uh, should we talk about his pictures now or later? Uh, well, let's take a look at his reel and then we'll get into it. That'll give us time to look at all these pictures. All let's watch. All 17 of them. I'll tell you, if my daughter marries that sorry sack of shit, I'm going to take him out with a Lawn Boy Z320. There won't be anything left but a pile of mulch and those silly teeth. Well, I'm sure we don't have to resort to violence to resolve this situation, Mr. Weaver. What about this guy? He could teach the asshole a lesson from the looks of him. Matthew's skills are best used bodyguarding, not body dismembering. Yeah. <laughs> are you scared your daughter's going to elope this weekend? Exactly what I'm afraid of. Why don't you just tell the way you feel? I don't understand. I did that once. A long time ago. Worst mistake I ever made. Veronica had a boyfriend, this guy named Jay. Hell, I liked him well enough, but he was a slacker. Couldn't seem to keep down a job. He was always on the computer. So I insisted that he come work for me. Let me guess. He had too much pride. Well, I recognize now that it was an act of character. Carl from Tucson debuts his lucky buckle. Look, there it is. I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? It's the sun in Tripoli. It makes you see things. Let's get out of here. <laughs> got us ready to go up at Livermore. Uh, what is she? She's a 172. Is that okay? Yeah. This isn't easy for me, Pete. The times are tough. I'm going to have to let you go. Does this mean you don't want me to cut your lawn anymore? Mr. Johnson, you came to us very highly recommended. I'd hate to think that that recommendation wasn't reliable. Mr. and Mrs. McDuffie, I understand you want me to keep tabs on your son. I just don't understand why. Isn't it obvious? Well, no. But... He might be a homosexual. You're the office manager here? Yes, I am. So you could buy an ordinary laser printer if you wanted to. Now we've decided to buy only HP laser jet printers. Haven't you ever been tempted to experiment? Not in this area. HP laser jet printers have worked very well for us. So you wouldn't even try another laser printer? I'm not what you would call a loose cannon. Well, I'm sure you've done something impulsive once. No. Never? Oh my God, are you okay? Yes. Okay, come on, let's get you up. No, come on. I want to stay here a little longer. No, 
No way. Come on. I'm gonna forget this one too. Even this last one. I won't. Okay. It's too much. It's just too much stuff. Yeah. Here's, let's and there's too much stuff that spans too long a time period because he looked like 20 years younger in some of those clips. Yeah. Am yeah. I am I crazy? But he looked like man in his 40s and then man in his 60s and man in his 50s and man in his 60s. Well, to be clear, you are crazy. Yes. But um, that is not the issue. Let's start with uh, William's headshot selection here. Um, first of all, they it's, don't even know what you're looking at. Yeah. Oh, thank you for for helping with that. Uh, Here's I the was thing. Vanna White in a former life. <laughs> I'm the Jewish Vanna White. Here's the thing, sir. And a Whitenstein. <laughs> Pipe down, Eisenberg. <All> right. <laughs> um, now, here's the thing, sir. Uh, with all due respect uh, to folks working in this age range, um, you know, you have to work, you don't have to work quite as hard to sell all these looks. You know what I'm saying? You're, that's what we've talked about before yeah, in you're, the past. You, this, in, this, William, your age and your type sell itself without all these different pictures of you as the executive. Um, I, like, I like this you know, one. You as this the cowardly great. lion. But he does have a virility, which I don't necessarily know is... Um, is reflected in this particular piece. So maybe if he had this and then one other thing, obviously um, not the picture of the Nazi, said the Jew. Yeah. Uh, this and, well, you know, maybe it's time for some new headshots. Uh, thank you, that's what I was gonna say. You need one current headshot that's shot of good quality. This seems to look like it's the most current, or maybe this is. No, I think this one is. But the quality of the picture is kind of boring and, uh, well, this is this is like grandpa. Yeah, exactly. Well, look at your age. Grandpa and older executive, yeah. and that's what he's gonna play. At his age, we get grandpa, even without the suit and tie and stuff. You know, like I, I just. But then, then this, and then maybe obviously, since he's going for a more rugged thing, there something a little dust bowly, old westerny, you know, with like a denim shirt or some sort of a shirt, and just like an outdoorsy kind of feel to it. Yeah. Because this, I get the executive, the banker, the owner of the corporation, or rather the head of the corporation. Yeah, but again, he's an older white guy. We get that. If I was if I was managing William and I was pin, picking pictures, okay. I would pick, you know, there would be a commercial shot and a theatrical shot, and the okay. theatrical shot would be something sort of in the middle of this and this. I think you can have one picture, one look that's going to take him from the gutter to the boardroom. Well, you know what it's I'm like saying? you said, and he's an older white guy, so his look is not going to differ that much. Exactly. And again, like we discussed in an earlier episode, he doesn't have to be wearing the various uniforms exactly. and the roles that he exactly. anticipates playing. Shoot a great shot that looks good, that's going to look like he looks walking into the room. I agree with Ivy right. in terms of, uh, I think I think you're playing even older in this picture than you probably play in real life maybe a little bit. And if, he's, if he has an edgy side... He can obviously, ref that yeah. picture can reflect an edgier. Well, and that'll show on his resume. His resume is rather lengthy. You've booked some some stuff over the years. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't need to see all of it in the demo reel. So, you know, we've spent a lot of time talking about his headshots. Yeah. Well,